Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Brewers Baseball Rules coming at you with an IP recap from the the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Here's my ticket for visual proof. Grass graph last week on Saturday, Saturday, May 25th, 2013. And the game was at 310. Set in section DB, 115, row 3, seat 11. And that is right behind the Brewers batter's box pretty much. Well, Went with my mom. Uh, she was helping me try to get autographs, but like, there were like all these guys that were skipping over us. So it's pretty disappointing. And I'll just say who skipped me real quickly first before I got into who I got. Uh, Brandon Inge, he skipped me, and I had some cards I need to get done for myself and a couple for a friend. Uh, Garrett Jones, he came over to sign, but I thought he would go down the line, and turns out I was wrong. He just signed up for a, a, for a group of people, and then he went in. And then I heard, like, Michael McHenry is, like, one of the nicest guys, and he said he would come back, and he never did. And then, um, I didn't expect to get, like, some guys, because they were on the DL, and, like, I want, I need to get Jeff Locke done for the 2012 top set, but... He was starting, so didn't he didn't really sign in. Also, um, usually the gates don't open until an hour and a half early. And then my mom and I, we we left at the time where we we would end up getting there an hour and a half before. And then we got there, and then the gates had we had found out the gates had already been open for like an hour and a half already. And so I pretty much missed like Ryan Braun, and like I heard Braun was signing, then K Rod and. The Good Brewers, and then Autograph Kid 34. I got in line to get your Corey Hart, Allen, and Ginter card done, and then my card done for both of our sets. But the security guys at Miller Park are such a bu such a bunch of doorknobs, and they cut off the lines for like when they have like Autograph Saturdays. So very sorry about that. But I heard rumors that Corey Hart might be rehabbing with. The Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, the Class A affiliate, the I think it's Low A of the Milwaukee Brewers, yes. And um, he's probably he might be there for the series that started yesterday through this week, I want to say. Um, but and then I don't know if I mentioned also, but Jason really skipped me. But and then Neil Walker, he said he would sign too after he was done warming up for me and a few other kids, but he never did. Then, before I get into who I get, I'll just got, I got two more base, I got two Major League Baseballs during the game. Bat Boy threw these to me. I caught this one, and it's pretty good, but there's just some dirt marks there. And then, this one, it's not really scuffed, but Mike Fires, he was pitching, he spiked this one, then it hit, it got into the dirt, and then got some grass marks. But then the bat boy tossed that one to me too first. He got this one first, then that one. And then, um, it was like, it was already, it was like, uh, 3 o'clock. It was like 2.45. And so I just, my mom was just sitting in our seats. And then, like, I just told her I'm just going to go over to, like, the part where the pirates warm up. To see if I can maybe get at least one guy. Uh, but Travis Snyder signed on my way there, but he signed over the dugout. I didn't want to toss in my cards or anything, because I wanted to get a good spot in case, like, uh, it's probably already given up already in case McCutcheon signed. And then he was the last one to be warming up, and then it was, like, 3.05. And lucky enough, I got cut for the set, so it's only one autograph. But I'm very happy with who that I was able to get him. Very excited about it. No flaws whatsoever. Perfect in blue. When I was pulling the card out of my book, it just got a tad bit dinged up in the corner, but nothing you can do about it. I probably could have gotten him on my other card for my 2012 tops. That's like my minor set. But like they like when he started to sign like I just got I was lucky to be right in the front and but yeah and like there were some people that were handing him like 10 things to sign but since there was like a mob like I didn't want to like drop all my stuff cuz 
like when the like from the Sox, like I would have got came to Miller Park, I would have got Paul Canerico, but like some like grown man like just like bashed me out of way and I dropped all my cards and all my stuff went everywhere. But yeah, so pretty much quality over quantity. Only got one autograph, but I'm so happy I got Cutch Nail for the set. So it's really awesome. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more vids.